on my board here, all my stuff that I'm working on, as you can see. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on this picture right here. This picture right here. I want to go see if I can make this into a beautiful piece of artwork that glows in the dark here in the middle of the night. So, a little bit here, right there, so you have the, the full authentic glow. And what I'm going to do, this is the duple colors that goes with it. Now, you probably can't see it because everything Thing is all dark. So what I'm going to do is first and foremost show you what it's like basically without all the color. This is what it looks like. Here's my black light. Um, black light. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and take the opportunity to um, paint it. So I have the black So I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the regular light on so you can see what, what we're doing. This is what it looks like with regular light. Okay, so here you have it. And I'm wearing my rings, which really glow really cool and nice when the black light's on. But for the most part, that what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and just speedily do this, okay? So I'm going to take this guy out of here real quick, because I haven't really attached him to the page in that way, in that sense. But what I'm going to do is I have this, this fluorescent. This fluorescent is really cool. These ones are fluorescent, these ones are fluorescent, and then this one here is a glow-in-the-dark. So you have the glow-in-the-dark and the fluorescent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the red one first. I'm going to take it a little bit out of the way. With this right here too. Okay, let me get a little bit of my eyeballs. Okay, so here's one. Get the eyeballs somewhere in the woods. I'll find them. Okay, so anyway, so we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and paint with the colors that we have available. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to use the palette so much. I'm gonna use just go ahead and uh, put this in the. I'm gonna go directly with it. So here's orange, here's this one, um, orange and pink, and then we also have, let's see, light pink, and then we have some more colors. Oh, some more, these are the fluorescent ones. So right now, here we have the so purple, find the purple one. That's the dusty pile. Notebook. All right, so we have the purple one, we have purple here. And a purple then. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just paint. Let's do this. I'm not going to take too long. I'm going to run out of juice before I get a chance to actually finish. So let me just go make sure I can do this. All right, so here we go. This. Here's my brush thing here. And what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and um, move this over here just a little bit. And let's remove it. Let's do the Maj brush out of here. Out of here, go over here, my skin tape over here, and let's go ahead and let's start the painting. So, here is this, this one here, and apply it directly. Okay, I'll just go with it. Even though it's red, it does not have this nice sheen to it. So when you hit it with a black light, it's going to be nice and cool. And there's that one. So nice. Okay, so nice there. Okay, battery's running low. Let's see if I can get the battery plugged in real quick before it run out of juice on me. Uh, let's see what we can do. Battery free, the juice free, so I can get it to go before I run out of juice. Put this thing in. Okay, have to make sure I don't put too much weight on the system itself. So, so this is here. So maybe I should raise it up and put it onto the so where it doesn't fall. That, and then into here like this. Right, that's two, and then two. 
the main source, which is very efficient. Bring a fish back fish and where is it? Here, we're back with power. Okay, cool. So now here we go. We need to grow with it. Let's see what we have. I wonder what this is. This is my fish monster. I'm working, I've been working on this one for some time now. This is um, my fish monster, um, a Jimba. Let's see. So here we have this. Some cool hard look. We hit it with the fluorescent light, it just shines so nicely. See, this is the cool thing. You just late at night, because late at night you have to get a chance to really focus. Everybody's asleep. A lot less noise. It was one of those really busy days. Today we played chess. We pretty much got a chance to see the movie The Woman King. Which I should pretty much should give you a preview. Or tell you more details about it. Um, without spoiling it for you. I definitely think you should watch that movie if you get a chance to. There's something really nice about it. That it, it just... Believe it or not, it's... When they, when they give you... <clears throat> when movies get like... Backlash and stuff. It's like it's, it was a passion project, you know, many things. But this was wasn't just a passion project. It was actually a really nice movie. Um, you know, I don't want to spoil anything for you. Just want to say that it was a movie that was beyond my expectations. And so with that, that was made it really great. Or that was the orange one. Oh, you know, I should do. I should. I should work on the Edible Colors on it. I'd paint him too. You know, that way I don't have to go back and redo the paints. So. Give you a nice glowy texture. You know, again, a shout out to all my friends who have been doing black light for years. This is just so new to me and so wonderful. I s totally love this. I tell you, if I had known about this like years ago, I would have just totally like ran with it, like you know, from years prior. But this is such a wonderful like medium to work with, and it's like it's just like so cool. It's just like a nice little emphasis, you know, just a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, it's a painted creature, and painting is the hardest part for me, honestly. It's the hardest part because it's it requires a different part of the brain. It's like you know when you're making something, you have to hold it and you have to kind of see it. But when you have to paint it, you have to do the same thing, but now with different colors. And I really should take more like advanced art theory classes on that because this is such a wonderful thing to be able to. To bring things to life with the paint, you know, especially with this color paint. This paint's great. This one, and so this isn't the glow in dark paint. This is the, this is the um, the reactant to fluorescent paint. So when you turn on the light, you'll see that it just really reflects or it glows in the light, even though it's not really glow in the dark. So it's kind of a attention grabber, you know. Draw your attention to this thing here, which is so cool. All right, so. There. Next one we have is the the blue. I've been finding the blue has been really, really good. Um, tell you why. It's like the blue that glows in the dark is so nice. Let's see if I can I can get it for you. Let me see what I can do. Um, clean this brush off. And 
and then I guess we'll do the orange ones, the orange parts. Fine, and then we'll do the green. So, let's do orange. All the orange parts of the paper. Turn from oak gray to orange. It's going to be a different flavor. You don't like damage your beauty, you know, by just doing stuff. Try to keep it all together as best you can. We'll go right over the green. Okay, let's do that. Go right over the green. And come back with it for another thing. Go right over the green. First I was like, nah, let's be gingerly about it. Nope, nope. I'm gingerly about it at all. Okay, you want to see what it looks like with the lights out for a second? Okay, let's take a look and see what it looks like. Let's see, take a look. Look at that. It's pretty nifty, yeah? Let's see all my cool rings. Mm-hmm. Look at this guy. Look at this fella. Cool, right? Mm-hmm. Liking this. So, put that there. Put some more orange on the brush. Put the orange on your head. Remember the episode of the, um, when they were doing uh, Clone Wars? And it was, um, the Umbari. The Umbari, the Umbari. The Umbari system. The Umbari. I don't know how powerful they were. Totally like you know, giving money to, but you know it's weird how how in pop culture so many references to real life. The when real life actually happens, the people who who played the pop culture role, you would think that they would be the first ones to identify the, the error of the situation and be like, "Yo, listen, I played this this character in the acting thing," and then I, we should be aware that this is what's going to happen in real life, you know? But no. These actors, they play the role and they forget what role they're playing. It's like they would get like a detox or something. They totally forget what the role they played. So they're the ones standing with the regime changes, you know, things go bad. Anyway, so that's up there. And regime changes. I'm going to go along with the system. In fact, they're supposed to be fighting the system. And look at the difference. It's not that instant, you know. But then again, you know, this thing about scripted movies and things. Things that are scripted are not real. 
Let's always remember that. Things that are scripted are not real. Now, why I say that is because, one, it's true, and two, because, you know, they know how it's going to wrap it up. It's like a cesarean, you know? When, um, when the, back in the day, when people used to have babies, it, the baby, having a baby would last days and sometimes many days. And what happened was that the doctor would get bored out of their mind just waiting for the baby to come in. So they had to make talk, make do, and all that stuff, and just spend time with the you know, people that they're working for, you know? All that stuff that's just terrible, right? But for the most part, though, what they do is that they they had to be the, the onset of cesareans. Oh, my goodness, the doctor can schedule a, a golf appointment the next day or a trip on their yacht. I'm saying yacht instead of yacht. On their yacht and then be able to go and have their, you know, their boats and stuff. And what hap ends up happening is that, you know, they can schedule because how how precise they are in predicting when the baby's going to be born because they make it happen, those... Those uh, obligions, those, you know, people who help deliver the babies. You know, you think I'd know the name of the people by now, having, after having four kids. Though, it's one of those things where, okay, let's run the rest of the colors and stuff. That's what it looks like. Ready? Two, three, let's go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, they hit it with some of the, um, oh, do you see this? Do you see how cool this looks? Oh, my goodness, this is so cool. This is so cool, this is so cool. Alright, let's see what we got. More colors on this thing. So we have that one. Alright, this one, the glow in the dark blue. I still want to try this one, see what this looks like. Okay, glow in the dark blue. So this will be a glow in the dark blue as opposed to the. As opposed to the, um. What is this? As opposed to the fluorescent that shines. You know, I mean, there is a fluorescent that shines. I, I don't. Do I have it? No, I don't have a blue one. Black light marker. All right, let's do blue. Glow in the dark blue. Glow in the dark blue. All right, so I'm gonna go. So, this is what we're doing. We are painting this thing. We're painting this thing with love. So right now, not really love, but actually with, with the glow in our paints. So yeah. Trying to brush too much, you don't want to scrape off the paint that's already there, even though I did hit it with that Mod Podge coat. So, you know, just to know what's up. This is so much fun. I, I just totally enjoy this. This is a great piece of therapeutic right now. We had a rough day today. We had a good day, but also a rough day. A lot of things happened that I don't want to discuss right now. Nothing, you know, just... Nothing, nothing like... Nothing like with the family. Just... You know, just kind of a couple of rough things that happened. To, you know... Just deal with stuff. Sometimes the best way to deal with stuff is to... Just go and... Clear your mind and think about it. You know... Like, you, like you're sipping tea or something, you know? Which reminds me, I should be actually drinking some tea while I'm doing this. Made some tea, let's see where some green tea. I'm gonna go do that. Let's see about that. This is the thing here. Alright, so let's see what we got. Let me just finish this up. I can't wait to do this. I'm gonna do a body paint with this, by the way, at some point. When I have my light system set up, I can actually do a body paint. That'd be really cool. So I'm going to do that. Figure out who I'm going to paint in the house. Probably just me. 
Follow me, self. Okay, actually, there's a bunny paint. I've never done bunny paint with the, the colors. Alright, so that's all the blue. You want to take a look see what it looks like? Let's take a look see what it looks like with the lights off. Oh my goodness, it's like a Picasso. Wow. Alright, so here we go. Here with some lights. Oh yeah, look at it. You see this? Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. Look, I'm just gonna fit it right there when it's ready. It's all said and done to right about there. I'll be like, oh yeah, look at that thing. And then the top of lights and they have the glow still. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. This is so nice. This is so nice. Alright, so I'll put it over there. And next up we have the purple. Now let's hopefully the purple can do a really nice shine. This is a black light purple. Let's see, how does it shine? I went to black light. Let's see, does it even shine? It doesn't really shine. So, let's see. Maybe there's another purple I have that's more shiny. I mean, this green one will definitely shine. And this one definitely will shine. This is like the nitro glow. I make the purple shine, shine white or shine blue. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe there's another purple I have in my trusty, dusty container. Okay, so we have this here. Let's see. I have one. I have that one. That one. That one. No, I don't have black, white, purple. Uh, yeah, do, 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 black, white. Let's see what this one. Let's see what this one glows. Ooh, this does glow. It does glow. It does glow. Okay. See what it looks like. All right, so what we're gonna do is gonna add this one here to it. Let's see what happens. So right in the middle of this gem right here, and there. Okay, I'm just gonna put the purple right there. We're gonna go ahead and paint it. And let's give it. Okay, let's see what it looks like with the, with the black light. So I'll show you. It looks like the lights are so cool, right? Here's where the black lights. I'm gonna hit it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, cool beans. There it is. Right, cool. I'm gonna turn back the light back on real quick. Actually, you know, I'll just paint it with the light off for a second. Okay, I'll change my brush. This brush is terrible. All right, let's see. This brush is terrible. This brush is green. Or did I just mess up my edge? This one be real good. Okay, try this one. Okay, wow, the purple really. Oh wow, the purple looks really nice. I can actually see it. See how it is. See my rings. My rings. I have um these rings. I 3D printed myself, and so they're my own design. I made you know designed from entire. I made it in Blender. So each ring has like a different. See how the black light how it glows. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's see. This is what I'm doing right now. So. I totally just love this stuff. I just think it's such a wonderful. Let me make sure I get the right color differential. Get back up there. Put the lights back on. And let's see. The background noise you're hearing is my fish tank. And we don't have fish. We actually have uh, snails. We used to have these um these big um called apple snails. And what happens was uh, we initially we had uh, fish and we had guppies. A friend of ours gave us a whole like like maybe ten guppies or something. And then what happened with the guppies was that um, they had more guppies. Eventually we had like a whole entourage of guppies. There's something about this house, just things that come here and multiply. It's just one of those things. Anyway, so what happens was, um, incidentally, we had so many guppies. We had so many generations of guppies, you know? And then we had like, we were down to like two. And then we had like generations of that. So we had like, guppies are so much better than goldfish, I think. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, I think they're really cool. And what I found was that... Um, I'm gonna do this one too while we're here. What I found was that the um, the oh goodness the guppies were well they, were, they weren't dirty up the cages or something the same because you know goldfish really dirty up like cages and stuff you know and they have this thing about them that they just you know they just really mess things up. So for the most part though um, guppies didn't do that so much. Maybe they do, but maybe I didn't notice it. But you know I really noticed it with the goldfish, but I didn't notice it at all with the guppies. Anyway, long story short, we had snails. We had um, bought like a few apples and we bought two snails. 
one a black shell, a black shell and a white shell. Okay? And it was the same apple snails, to different color shells. And what happened was one was a female, one was a male, and they made a bunch of babies. And so from the bunch of babies, we ended up having the second generation. We ended up having just three that survived. Or actually, yeah, there are three that survived from the initial generation. And then from there, we ended up having um, so many snails. And then so we're like, okay, we're going to do these. We thought maybe we have to eat them or something. You know, so we decided to just go ahead and, you know, find a nice little place where we can, that maybe had natural, you know, predators for them. And we released them. So anyway, long story short, it was um, it was good to get rid of them because, you know, you never quite know. You know, well, pretty much it's better than killing them or eating them, I guess. Which you could, I guess you could kill them and eat them. But they call it escargot. You know, and so, they, but the thing is that they say if you're ever going to eat snails, which you have to make sure that you let the, the snail sit for like 24 hours, you know, and you, have, you feed nothing but like cornmeal or something, so it can cleanse itself of all of its innards because snails are just, ugh, you know, they eat everything. They're like bottom dollars and stuff. And then you have to, when you process them, you have to chop off and cook only their foot, you know, only their foot part you eat because I think that's the only muscle they have. Everything else is like intestines and organs and stuff, and you don't want to eat that. You know, I don't think you eat the intestines of any or animal. Except maybe the tripe, but that's like, you know, after it's clean. And I don't even know the whole process of that, because that must be a, a whole beast to work through. Just, just, you know, call it, I guess, mofongo. Um, you know, and what do you call it? Um, in the, uh, I've heard that before in, like, uh, what is it, Santa Domingo? I mean, I'm not from there, but uh, when I was a co-worker, he'd order that, and it was like tripe. Like, um, intestines and stuff. Here we're talking about intestines and eating them and stuff. And, okay, let's see what it looks like with lights off. For a second. Let's see. Ready? Let's see what... Boom! Alright. Let me hit it with the black light real quick and see what it looks like. Okay. Well, this looks kind of loppy. Let me see if I can just add a cool pattern to it. As you know, just because it's loppy doesn't mean it has to be loppy. Let's give it a nice little like this to it. And like this to it, too. That way it's like, you know, it's not like loppy. Just a little hairs on the paintbrush. That's not good. That hits other things. I gotta yank that up. Yep. Little brushes. Little brushes that ruin the things. So. But for you, it'll make you lappy too. So if you're lappy like that, you're gonna lappy like this as well. Lappy that thing more like just. This is really cool. I just totally enjoy this. This is great stuff. I like such a kid painting with black, white, ink. Yes, I'm wearing protective eye gear, by the way. I'm wearing my glasses. I'm doing this because, you know, I, I don't know what UV light does to your eyeballs, but I'm just figuring maybe it might be something nice. So I'm just wearing my, my glasses. My 3D glasses from the last movie I went to, which was last 3D movie glasses, which was from The Last Jedi. Crazy movie. And so that IMAX, you know. Um, in 4D. Where they spit on you when you hit the waters and stuff. It's pretty interesting. But anyway, so seeing the Woman King movie was really nice. It was actually a pretty good movie. I recommend you watching that if you get a chance to. It's one of those really cool movies that, you know, the more you think about how more we think about it, the better it gets. Because it's like, you know, you watch a movie and you're like, ah. Like, if you, like, watch um, No Way Home, Spider-Man, and you start to even think about some of the things you saw, you're going to be like, well, hold up. You know, that, that kind of thing. It's going to hold up. But this one here, when you watch this movie, it was actually pretty cool. Because when you watch it, you really understood that this is, like, a really cool program. So cool. So cool, so cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There you go. All right, so let's see. You got your light back on over there? All right, see, now what we have left in terms of colors. All right, so we painted him, and then he had the yellow on his head, and then there's a blue, there's a green, there's some green. Let's use some of the green. Let's, let's make the green pop. All right, let's do that. Because this green, oh my goodness, this green pops. So I'm going to hit every single spot, spot you see green. I'm going to hit it with this thing here, and this FX paint just, just glows. 
it glows so well. So let's go and make a go. Well, thank you all for watching my show tonight. You know, it's pretty much three o'clock in the morning. You know, uh, I appreciate it. You know, the other things you could be doing right now, like sleeping, and you decided to spend it with me. So I want to just make sure you had a good time. Thank you so much for this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, you know, just a lady on the radio. Her name is Delilah, and she talks about you know relationship issues, and she puts music on. And so I remember that like one of those things we saw. I, I don't ever listen to too much when we're driving. It's because we don't want to drive. I have my kids with me, and then so listen to relationship stuff. You know, it's just kind of like, yeah. But I mean, you know, it's good. The more stuff you know, the better it is for you later in life. You know, you have like a frame of reference to work from. So it's like if you have. Um, your kids, you know, I'm just going to tell your kids a lot, about a lot of, a lot of things, so they're wiser than you know going to something blind, you know. That's what I think. I think it's good to kind of talk with your kids about stuff as best you can, because you never know, you know, you never know what they're gonna say, what they're gonna do. But um, and so what happens is like. You have um. It's good to kind of spend time talking. The Bible says that you should, you should walk with your kids and talk with them. And during the day, you teach them as much as you can. So it's like that. It's like that's kind of the point, you know. You're supposed to spend time with your kids. You know the way society works is that it's designed to destroy families. You know, really, if you chase the American dream, you know it's it's good to to do some things and to definitely. But it's also really good to be a family and to work with your family, because the the bottom line is. When you're working your family, your family business grows. I mean, but you have to kind of have a good relationship with them, so you have to do the work and spend time building that relationship, you know? You can't just be like, oh, I want to have a family and then don't put any time into them, you know, because that's kind of counterproductive and counterintuitive, you know? And so I just totally just love this art here, art form. I'm about to be done. Oh, goodness, I totally missed this purple corner here. And that one, too. Oh, goodness, I got to go back and do that. Okay, but so, I guess I'm not about to be done. So, so this is just here. But when I do get done, it'll be epic. It will be epic. All right, so that's that. Let me see if there's any green on this dude here. Yes, there is. There's green on the. There's green on the Diplopolis on his fingers. Oh, goodness. sorry. On his fingers and toes. So right there, toes green, green on the toes, green right there on the toes. And the other green, no, just green on that side. That's it. Okay, so at least we get on both sides. All right, I guess we're that. Now let's go ahead and hit it with the black light and see what we got. Oh boy, hit it with the black light and see what we got. Okay, right. Lights off. Ooh, it's so, so wow. Here's the black lights. Got this. Oh my goodness, I, I'm loving this. I am loving this. this is great. Wow. Okay. This is okay. That's what we have here. Alright, so we have the green. So we find the combinations of colors that work so well. Alright, so next one is I put more purple on it. purple on it. The colors are there's blues. The blue doesn't shine like I wanted to. It's like it's more of a um, non reflective type thing. I should find some reflective blue. Maybe I have a reflective blue in here. Reflective green. Reflective yellow. I don't have a reflective blue. I can't find it. Oh yes. Oh yes. Here you are. Okay, let's see what you look like with that blue light, black light. Are you reflected? Oh my goodness, you are so reflected. Where were you all my life? I painted you with the blue light. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clear this brush. Get another brush. Okay, good. Nice and good. Alright, so what we're going to do? Take that blue, that blue reflective and go, go ballistic with it.
This black light is so cool. I, I totally enjoy this black light painting. It's just like, you know, it's just great. I mean, great being like, not the best thing in the world, but just like, it's 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 really like a pleasant experience. I know I've said this already, but I'm gonna say it again. It's just like, you're painting with light, you know? Looks like a normal painting. We have one. We add a different shade to it, a different light to it. Some of it will glow in the dark, but the majority of it will not just glow in the dark. It'll actually, it'll actually, you know, reflect back at you. It gives that such a nice flow. Oh my goodness. Okay, you want to see what it looks like with light on? Let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. So beautiful. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and just kind of go back. Let's see this again. All right, see. So let's keep going with this. You all see that? Okay, good deal. So there and there. All these live painting sessions. Maybe I get more people to do this. This is such a cool thing. All right, so there's that. Okay, now I'm gonna use more blue down here and in that area right there, just to have it the full effect, have the fully operational battle station. Let's see. The power of a fully functional battle station. So we have this here. Let's talk about something, shall we? All right, one of which is like you know. The thing that I think about life that's interesting is just how these things that you get a chance to paint, it's just a wonderful, wonderful take on just the whole painting genre. It's just like, like there's a painting genre, the painting style, you know, you get to take something and it's one thing and then you just add a little bit of difference to it and it becomes a whole different thing. You know, shout out to my friend Marie. Um, shout out to my friend um, Homa Mayo. Maya, he works in, um, he does the body, um, body painting and he does tattoo. Um, his shop, if you, you can find him on um, on Instagram. Find also Maria on Instagram. And they have such beautiful artwork. They do, they do, they do. And so, also Andy Gulab, you know, shout out to him as well. You know, the whole like, body painting classes and, and situations and things that he does. The city. You should hear his story. His story is great. But I got into the whole thing with body paint in New York City and stuff. It's so cool. There's also right here. Let me get this right there. And, yeah. So cool. So cool. Alright. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we have. We turn the lights. Oh my goodness. This is nice. Okay, now. What else do we have? Let's see if we have that. Let's figure this out here. The purple. Let's see if we can get the purple to be more, more reflective as well. Let's see, so, okay, all the blues have now been done. The blue dots, blue dots, blue dots. Okay, blue dots. This is like my, one of my first abstract paintings I've done. And so what it does is that it's, it's like it comes out really nicely. It can actually do this, and I'm really happy about that. Okay. What else do we have? We have... Uh, okay, let me see if I could put the... What one was it? The purple? Okay, the black light purple. Let's do that real quick over here. And I'm going to do something different with it. I'm going to make a little pattern in it. I don't want to make it just... um. Just so obvious that it's a different color. I'm gonna go right in between, like that. Down the middle. Just so it's like a little reservoir in the midst with the things. And then right here too, a little in between. Right there is a purple heart. And there is some purple too. And then, then hit this purple right there.
Okay, and then this little guy right here. I'll take some of this purple here. Right there. Alright, let's see what we have. Let's see what we got. We have such a wonderful thing. You know, it reminds me of Velvetopia from um Velvetopia from the uh, Psychonauts game. Psychonauts game was, was the best. It was the absolute best. If you ever get a chance to play a really cool game, that's the cool game you have got to play. Because that game... Yeah, we're going to hit it with some blue. <laughs> More blue. Right about there. Right about there. Right about there. I'm going to hit it with some more blue because the blue is so... Oh my goodness. It's so nice. So... Blue, that blue is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna drop some blue in the ocean right here. Okay, right there. Alright, I'm gonna put some blue right there. I'm gonna give this Dipocalus a little blue stripe. Blue stripe right on his foot. Blue, blue right on his foot here too. Okay, and then I'm gonna give it like a little bit of a blue stripe right across. See what it looks like. I'm gonna give you a blue tip on the nose right there. Just kind of a little blue tip. Okay. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness! This is great. This is great. Oh, and this is great. I'm just totally enjoying this. This is just wonderful. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, so this is great. I'm loving these colors. Loving these colors. So I take a picture of my phone, it's like, it's being used at the moment. So, let's see, oh, that's so cool, that is so cool. Let's see, let me straighten it up a little bit, so you can totally enjoy that. You know, let me not move it, let me just turn the picture real quick, let's do that. This is so cool, let me see, hit it with some heavier, heavier lights. Okay, I'm about to be done here, this is just too beautiful. It's actually really nice, I'm just totally loving this right now. I'm about to call Amy in here, we're like, yay, look at this! So cool. All right, folks. I'm gonna go ahead to stop here for now. I'm gonna turn the light on so you can see it looks like a light on. It looks like a light on. Pretty unassuming. Very nice. But when you hit it with a black light, oh how it glows! Oh how it glows so wonderfully. This is great stuff. Wow. I wonder if this is down toxic. Let me check. What is it? It says um, any warnings? Water base permanent. Pestering, intermixable soap, and water cleanup. Crystal Parks, DecoArt.com, wood paper mache fabric, metal canvas, glass terracotta. So cool. Such a cool thing. Cool, cool medium. Hmm. Wait, let me cool. Put a little bit of blue on my. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna stop here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show restraint. I'm going to stop here. Let me just check the chat real quick. Is anybody talking in the chat? Any live chat? All messages are visible. Let's see if there's any chat no sir. Oh, okay. There was no chat. Okay, I'm going to turn the light back on. Do you have it? Where is it? Last thing you see is the cool light effect. How it is. 
And this is like pretty nifty. You know, I'm gonna add a different a dot right there. It looks kind of freaky with a little eyeball. So let's see. Uh, it's like a skeleton, you know? Alright, cool. That's why it's called abstract, because you see different things when you look at it at different lights. Alright, so here we go. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Have a good night. Wish you all the best. Thanks for watching my channel and for watching my show tonight. So, watching my show tonight, this has been pretty cool. Just want to say thank you so much for that. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now. I think it might have froze some, but okay, let's see. Thank you so much for you know watching and enjoying my show. Please like and subscribe and tell your friends about it. Maybe. Have a good night.